along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. That's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. By the keys of St. Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Who was Limpy Lou? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what? How come he... He got that from some villainy or brawler. Has he been up to any... Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. Did he have any ki... None. Do you happen to... I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. When did you find the body? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. I want to learn to read. There's a retired scribe in Ujit. I'm at your sir. I've come in the next... Of course. That man Lubos who... He was a drunk who was always... Have you noticed any... Well, now I think of it, I haven't seen him. Do you know what Lou... Not a clue. Do you know anyone Lou... He was a loner. That's all. I'm honoured. I've... That's all. Good luck to you. I'm honoured that a night I've come I don't know no that man I didn't really know it. Have you noticed any oh, come to think of it, he was in church yesterday. I was wondering what he was up to to take to the faith all of a sudden. But Do you know what Lou I was coming from the tavern very he looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky. Do you know not with anyone from the village. I used to sit. That's all. Good luck to you. God save. Take care now. Ah. Good luck to you. My hum... Uh, Ask away. Who was... He was a... Have you noticed... The only thing seemed suspicious was how I... Do you know what... Lu what do I care about that scoundrel? Do you know... He was always a loner. That's all. Goodbye.
Lord above, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? Good help. Another thing. God be with you. Blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems, sir. Did you know, Lubosh? Bit of a lost soul. Did you know? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubosh don't... That's really not a lot of help. To... I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what Lubosh... Unfortunately, I do know. What? I'm bound by... Vows more... There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. For heaven's sake, Father, can you really look me in the eye and tell me that, when you know you may be condemning innocent people to death? I can. Because if I broke that vow, the consequences would be much worse than if I didn't. Maybe not immediately, but one day. The mills of God grind slowly. I'll have to get my own now. Over here. I'm sorry, Over I can't here. tell you everything. But first, I'd like to hear something about you. I'm from Scalis. Oh. I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. It must have been terrible. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. I didn't make it to the castle. They almost killed me. My poor child. And how did you come to get this assignment? He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so... Ah! Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The rumors aren't exaggerated this time. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandit... I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Well then, here's to those poor... I've told you all about me. Now it's your... 
I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't ex you know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep... Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Henry, that's not how it works. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats... Chin up, lad. I'm a... What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But, first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits isn't fraud. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. It has to be something top. Con a tongue lashing about the two popes goes down, especially if they're about fornication and similar... Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing? The preaching of Master... The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly just like a flock of hungry ravens, they, they don't know mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they sh You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen! Well, this Jan Hu's character... Oh, the... I don't doubt. Let's drink... Funny. That... What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Huth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, be for, for debauchery? No, I don't. What do you think of this, Jan? He's certainly a wise man. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Where can I find out more of... You like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested... What do the common folks? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. In a few years... Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake. Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe? Thanks for the sermon, but I think... Oh, it's getting quite late. What do you suppose? Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me do Enough of this! 
Bailiff, come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. I wonder what Teresa's doing now. I could stop by and see her again. I enjoyed it last time. Get your penance now. So, my dear, wouldn't you like to have a little ring on the bell? No sooner said than done. I'd love to. And Henry, too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What will people say? They can say what they like. What do I care? What do they do to me? Watch the step, my dear. Careful, you don't hurt yourself. Godwin, you're a buffoon. Here we are. Look at this beauty. Oh. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> God, my you old goat. Come here.
God win, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards. Oh, fuck it out. Oh, oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. And we have a wonderful time. Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christopher, in my head. Oh, my guts. My poor suffering stomach. What was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! Oh, you're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it if you stopped gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. So all at once, the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me! We'll never get away with Not if you make a... No, neither can... What do you want me to do? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. No need... Christ almighty. Wonderful. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Never show up. The swill Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. 
You were with them, you beast. Just you wait. Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, we throw up. <laughs> so I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit Panem, in Sanctas, at Venerabiles, a Manus Suas. <clears throat> Hac facite in meam commemorationem. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. Now I'm curious, curious which one of them will puke first. Brothers and sisters, let me get straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. That boy has a cheek. Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <coughs> It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Uh, plague, humans, hunger, and, and, and chaos. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. They show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For shame, shame upon them. And what sins? They live with harlots and keep concubines? even though only marital intercourse for the purpose of procreation is pure. If someone takes a woman or man only to satisfy their own lust, who seduces them to do so but Satan? And how much darker the sin if that man is a servant of the church? Who can turn his face to God, who fornicates and then puts on priestly robes? Nothing we don't know about already. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates! Away with them! 
We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. Aye, all honour to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, that was. The young man shouldn't drink so much. But the Lord's given him a I'm silver glad he came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague. He told it nicely. Well, well, my boy. You have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. But I wasn't the only one. Well, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so it's gluttony and fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubosch came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say... Uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first, they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour, and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhoff. Um, that would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, he talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko, Pius, Timmy. Pius. <laughs> That lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ledechko, right? Well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. And if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. I don't doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> 